Welcome to the Lifetime Assembly Channel. My name is John, and today I'm going to help you assemble your streamlined basketball system. This video will follow the steps outlined in your assembly manual that comes with the basketball system. If you've already begun and need help on a specific step, check the comments or description below for a timestamp associated with each step. Now let's take a look at what's inside the box. There are steps within this assembly that require more than one person, so be sure to have at least one other adult available to help. Before we begin the assembly process, let's take a look at the tools you'll need to complete the job. You'll need two adjustable wrenches, two 3 16 Allen keys, which are included, a Phillips head screwdriver, a block of wood, and a rubber mallet. To make this easier, we're going to use a drill. You may see us use an impact driver if you decide to use one as well. Be sure not to over torque or over tighten the hardware. A half inch socket, a 10 millimeter socket, a half inch wrench, a 3 16 hex head socket, and a socket adapter. Depending on how you decide to fill the base of your system, you will need a funnel and 150 pounds of sand or a hose connected to a water source. Before you begin, make sure that the model number of your system is included in the description below. It's crucial that you refer to the assembly manual to review the safety instructions for this build to prevent serious injury or property damage. All right, let's get started. Hacer clic en la esquina inferior derecha de este video para ver los subtítulos en español. Start by grabbing the middle pole, which is the one with the warning sticker. The top pole should already be inside, and sometimes there's a plastic rivet holding the two together, which you'll need to remove with the screwdriver. If your poles ever become separated, insert the rounded end of the top pole into the bottom of the middle pole. Pull the top pole out of the middle pole far enough to clear this hole down here. Then add your hardware. Lift the top pole out far enough so that you can add the bolt and adjustment knob to the lowest height setting. Align the hole at the bottom of the middle pole with the slot at the top of the bottom pole, then add your hardware, it's normal if the screw spins freely. Before moving on to the next step, be sure you've done the previous steps properly because the next step is irreversible. You're going to seat the poles together by striking the bottom end on a piece of scrap wood or cardboard five or six times you're going to need to use some force, so be sure not to hit your toes. It's crucial that you complete this step, otherwise your poles could separate during use, causing serious injury or property damage. Into the rim brackets into the two cutouts on the backboard. With the help of another person, line up the holes in the top pole with the holes on the back of the backboard in between the rim brackets. Insert your bolts through the holes from the front side, making sure that the fully threaded bolt goes at the top hole and the carriage bolt goes in the bottom hole. Add the washer and the nylon nut to the top bolt and the flange nut on the bottom bolt. Secure the rim bracket and the rim braces to the pole with the hardware.
Connect the backboard brace to the backboard, making sure that the flat end connects at the top and the angled end lays flat against the rim bracket. Once you finish tightening the hardware, go ahead and lay the assembly on its side. Orient your bottom pole braces like this. Align the holes in the cross tube with the holes in the braces, making sure that the dimple on the cross tube is facing down. Then secure with the hardware. Be careful tightening the hardware. You don't want the screw to break through the cap nut. Lay the angled end of the pole braces into the recesses on the back of the base. Connect the upper pole brace to the base, making sure the flat end connects to the base and the angled end is oriented like this. With the help of another person, insert the pull plug into the bottom of the pole oriented like this. Connect the bottom pole braces with the feet to the pole with the hardware. Connect the upper pole braces to the pole with the hardware. Insert the axle into the wheel and add a washer on both sides. With the help of another person, tilt the assembly forward so that you can place the wheels in the cutouts under the base. Step on the base over the wheels until you hear them click into place. Now go ahead and add the net to the rim.
Follow this link here to see how to properly fill the base of your system. We've already filled this one, so we're going to move on. Thank you for watching this video on how to assemble your lifetime streamlined basketball system. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. For more content like this, subscribe to our channel. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to our customer service team and check out our other awesome products at lifetime.com.